hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another tutorial on gitlab so this will be a continuation of our gitlab tutorial for beginners so in this tutorial we are going to talk about gitlab container registry so you may be wondering what is a gitlab container registry i would recommend you to check my previous tutorial where we have spoke about what is a docker registry so docker registry what that is means like a, it's a place where we will store our docker images and we will distribute it so the classic example is a hoster registry which is our docker hub right so i hope everybody has worked on docker will be knowing what is a docker hub or uh, from where we download our images right and in my previous tutorial we have also shown how to set up a local registry so you can set up your own uh, registry on your machine using uh, registry containers and you can store your images in that and you can use that to uh, distribute it to other docker machines right so we have seen that also if you have not seen just look into the my previous tutorial and i will link that into this video description as well so when we spoke about hoster registry we uh, told like docker hub is one of our hoster registry where we can download images and uh, in this tutorial we will see how we can use uh, gitlab container registry as a hoster registry so you can save your uh, you know images into the gitlab container registry and then you can uh, use it for or distributing to other docker machines or you can pull it or you can you know uh, use those images to create containers so that's what we are going to talk about in this tutorial so this complete tutorial we will see like a few steps uh, how to make use of this gitlab container registry so we will see where we you will be able to see how to enable that if you don't I have that in your GitLab project and also we will uh, talk about how to log into GitLab container registry using docker command so there are different ways you can use uh, username and password or you can use personalized token so we will see how to create those things and also we will talk about how to build uh, a docker images and push it to the container registry or you can use existing images and you can tag it to the uh, registry and you can push it to the docker uh, container registry in GitLab and we will also see like there are options in gitlab where you can configure you know housekeeping settings like you know this container registry images uh, you know uh, if you don't want to keep it for more time because it may use uh, you know much of space of your git, git gitlab so uh, my understanding is that gitlab gives around like uh, 10 gp of space i'm not exactly sure uh, but it's a free you know the gitlab container registry is free for uh, and open for all um, but I think there is uh, some software you know, settings like you can have 10 GB of uh, image uh, uh, size or something like that. So we will see like, you know, all these things in the actual demo. So before I get into the demo, I would request you like if you're new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button. Also like my videos, share and comment. Let's get into the actual uh, demo. So if you have seen like, uh, you know, GitLab, uh, we have created a lot of projects before. So similar like, you know, every project if you create in GitLab, for example, this is a new project I just created for this uh, tutorial. So it's an example project. So whenever you go to your project on the left side, you will see all these uh, settings where we have seen the CI CD for creating pipeline. Similar way, you will have something called packages and repository. So we are not going to talk about package here. We are going to only talk about container registry. So if you click on that, so you should be able to see if you have any you know container registry uploaded here and the image is available so for now we don't have any image uh, available here so this uh, container registry is uh, associated with all project okay so whenever you can uh, the benefit is like in the project if you have any content like you need to build uh, those uh, application as an image or something you can default use this container registry upload your image then pull it push it pull it all those things you can do it easily so now in case if you don't see this uh, you know, uh, container registry option, you go to settings and you have packages and registries. So here, if you see, um, not here. Yeah, I was in the wrong place. So this is more of our housekeeping. So what you need to do is like, if you don't see uh, the container registry, go to your project settings and general, and you will have the option for visibility, project features and permission. You expand this. So here, if you see, you'll be able to see what kind of project, what all settings are enabled. So if you scroll down, you can see uh, for container registry. So if this option is not enabled, uh, you know, then you will not be able to see the container registry over here. So that you can check by default, it should be enabled. So in case, you know, if you are using a locally 
a hosted uh, no GitLab or something, then you'll have to ask your administrator to make those changes. Okay. So now let's coming back to our uh, project. So if you um, see, we don't have any uh, registry available now, right? Now let's talk about how to create an uh, image uh, in Docker and how to push that to this uh, machine, you know, GitLab uh, container registry. So as I said, you know, the benefit of this, like when we use our Git, uh, GitLab CI CD pipeline, uh, for example, a Node.js application, you have your Docker file, you can use that uh, to build uh, you know, a new image in Node, which you can, you know, you don't have to push it to Docker Hub, you can push it directly to the GitLab itself, then you can use that to your uh, next stage and it, it can continue like that. Well, let's start with a simple uh, you know, image. So I have an image uh, uh, for Alpine, okay? So rather than creating a new image from a docker file let me show you like i let me tag this image or retag it so i'm using docker tag and i'm going to tag alpine okay to uh, our docker uh, uh, gitlab registry uh, name okay so how that registry name should be you'll have to give you know in docker hub you don't have to specifically give any name for your uh, container registry uh, because uh, by default if you give a uh, you know, name of a docker image it will go and check in the docker hub but this is not a docker hub this is a gitlab uh, image registry so we have to specifically mention our registry name as we have shown in the our local registry now if you come uh, to this container registry itself it show you uh, default commands like how to log into the, our container registry so this should be registry.gitlab.com right and then after that it should be your uh, you know uh, id or your uh, you know gitlab account then it should have your project name okay and after that you should you can give your uh, you know uh, image name as well if you don't want it you can give it like this as well so what i will do is i will copy this okay and i also will give your uh, name as alpine gitlab and i will uh, call the tag as test okay so this should be the whole um, you know location where you are going to tag this so usually you know in uh, gitlab all uh, docker hub also if you are pushing to your uh, your you know uh, docker hub uh, account you should give your uh, account name right so similarly you can consider this is your account name and this should be your image uh, name and the tag so let's run this so you can see now you have uh, the image created here right so it should be this one okay so let me clear out the screen now what we need to do is if you use uh, docker login by default this will go to your uh, docker hub login so if you just give docker login it will uh, log into your docker hub so you need to specifically mention i want to log into the gitlab uh, container registry so for that as uh, the command mentioned here you need to mention registry.gitlab.com so you can just uh, run that docker login gitlab registry.com then you can run it it will authenticate with uh, no existing credentials since i already uh, had my logged in before it's uh, logging in automatically let me remove those accounts first so i have just removed this um, uh, my uh, previous uh, cached uh, login details and I'm just going to run the Docker login again. Now, if you see when I run, it's asking for a username, so you can give a username. So I don't want to log in with the username and password, okay? So you can type your uh, GitLab username and then it'll ask you for password. You can type that and you can uh, log in with that. So rather than using that, what I want to do is I want to use the access token. So what you need to do is you need to go to your uh, GitLab page, okay? Not on the project, you need to go to your GitLab. You need to click click on Edit Profile, okay? Then you on the left side you'll have a, a option called Access Token. So here you can give a token name, okay? If you see, I already have a token here, okay, so which is already created, and I have given an expiry date. So a similar way, what you can do is you can give a token name. So let me type uh, test and you can give an expiry date so i will give it for today itself and uh, when you create a token what you need to be very careful is if you want to use that for uh, your docker container registry uh, sorry the gitlab container registry you should have this permission given like read registry and write registry then only you can 
push the images to the container registry and you can read it okay so this uh, settings is not needed for this action for uh, if you are using this token for other purpose like read repository write repository you need to give the uh, desired permission as well so once you create a token you need to be very careful that you just need to copy this value okay because once you refresh you should you will not be able to uh, get this value again so as soon as you see this you need to copy this and keep it somewhere safe otherwise if you refresh this page or if you just come out of this page uh, you have lost that token you can only see there is a token available and you can revoke this token but you, you will not be able to uh, get that uh, token uh, ID uh, you know, uh, once you refresh this page so just make sure that once you create a token you keep that okay so we have created the token now what I want to do is I want to log in with the token so for logging in that you need to use this command so you have to use docker login and uh, the registry gitlab.com and uh, hyphen you for, for and give your account name so in my case, this is my GitLab account and you have to give a hyphen P and then you have to paste the token. So let me paste my token and I will enter it so it will log in. So I'll just run the uh, token and it will uh, log in to the page. Okay. So now you can see it has successfully logged in. So you can use this method and don't share this token with anyone. I will be revoking this token as soon as we completed this tutorial. So don't uh, share that. So it's for your own uh, purpose to push images and uh, uh, read images. So now what we have is we have a Docker image uh, uh, in this, uh, you know, we just tagged, right? So now what we need to do is we need to push this uh, uh, docker image to our container registry right so docker push and uh, you need to paste this uh, and the tag so let me run that so now you can see it's pushing uh, the doc, uh, image to the container registry so let's just wait for this to be completed depending upon the size of your uh, image it may take some time okay i think it's already done so i will just go here and uh, I will just refresh this container registry. Now you can see we already uh, got this registry uploaded here, right? And you have this uh, test as a tag. So now what you can do is you can just click on this one to copy, you know, the image. So let me clear out the screen. Let me remove the uh, this image first. So I will remove Docker RMI. I'm going to force it. This uh, if there is something used, or so I'll just run this. So it's done so if i go to docker images you don't see that image anymore right so you come here you click this one and uh, you use docker pull and paste this so you have this whole uh, location of your uh, image with the tag so you just run this so it's uh, pulling the you no know, image from the uh, gitlab uh, container registry now so if i see docker images you can see the image is back right so that's uh, pretty simple now, right? So you just had to, you know, uh, push the image to the GitLab container registry. It's similar to like what a uh, Docker Hub. Now let's see, you know, how we, the same thing we can do it with the Docker file as well. So let me re remove this uh, image first. And let me remove this one. Okay. So that is done. Now if I see, I have a file called Docker file. Okay. So this file is a simple Alpine uh, file which is uh, installing a MySQL client and uh, it's just uh, creating an entry point that's all. So what you can do is uh, rather than uh, tagging the existing image you are creating your own image using your app for a application using a docker file. What you need to do is you need to use docker build and you need to give the hyphen t tag and a similar way how we have given the whole name of the GitLab container registry with the image name and the tag and the location of the docker file so i'm going to give this uh, um, name uh, it's the same uh, gitlab.com and this uh, my account and the project name and alpine uh, gitlab is the image the same name i'm going to give and but i'm going to give a tag as uh, test one and i'm going to give the location which is in the current folder so i'm going to give a dot okay, so let me run it now you can see it's uh, trying to create the image so it will use the alpine uh, latest image so it's pulling that alpine image first then it's uh, you know 
create the container uh, sorry it, it will create the uh, image for using the docker file so let's wait for this to complete okay so let me see now you can see we have a new image for tag test one right now if you want to push this again we need to log in since i already logged into the gitlab uh, container registry i don't need to log in again so i will use docker push and uh, this should be one and it should be test one okay so let's push that so you can see it's uh, started pushing the new image as well so that image is also pushed now if i go back to your uh, container registry and if you refresh it you can see there is one more tag right so if you go to your container uh, registry you have one registry or another but there are two tags so you can create multiple tags like if you want to create uh, you know test images you want to have development images you want to have production images so you can have different tags based on that and if you want to delete this uh, you know images you just delete it from here okay and uh, it should be gone now you can see one is gone and if i delete this one as well you can delete it and if you want to delete the whole uh, container uh, registry, uh, this uh, repository, you can just delete from here as well. Okay. So just delete that the whole uh, container registry as well. So that is also done. Now the other uh, purpose which I wanted to show you, like if you go to the settings where I showed you in the initial uh, time, like uh, you know uh, when we were searching for how to enable a container, so we go into this setting. But if you see this option is for cleanup images tag. So there are cases like if you're using your default GitLab CI CD pipeline, whenever there is a change in the pipeline, uh, change in the project, it will keep building your images again and again. So that will add up more space into the GitLab and that will use a uh, lot of space in the registry. So in order to save space, you can have the settings enabled. So clean up image tag, you currently disabled, you can enable it. And you can uh, do some uh, routine uh, cleanup activities like you can run it every day and you can uh, keep some settings like i want to keep only the five tags so i don't want the old images to be kept so i can keep something like yeah i let's keep only the latest five images or you know you can keep other options like you know remove these tags which are more than 90 days or you know seven days so you can keep this setting so by default you know if there are more images getting created it will clean up automatically in the gitlab uh, cleanup housing you know housing housekeeping activities itself so that's uh, another option i wanted to show you so that is also very beneficial you can go to settings and package and repository you should be able to see that right and we also seen like settings uh, in general and visibility like if you don't see the um, uh, container registry you need to enable that over here okay so that is all uh, i think uh, we covered all the topics for that now if you want to uh, log out from uh, the container registry you just uh, log out okay so uh, now it's uh, logging off so as i show like once you log in it will save those in the cache so that is under the json uh, config file so uh, no, that you can delete it if you have uh, have those uh, configurations saved there, there as well so that is all for this tutorial i hope it's an informative tutorial so i would request you like uh, if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button for watching more videos and also i would request you to like my videos share and comment so thank you for watching